everyone. If you're watching this, the day goes live. Happy day before Valentine's Day. I thought it only appropriate that since it's my Valentine's Day themed video, obviously I'm going to talk about something that I love. And these are my all time current drugstore loves. So I, when I started my channel almost eight years ago now, it was heavily drugstore. And while obviously if you've been watching lately, I have added in quite a few department store high-end products. I still have a deep and abiding love for all things drugstore, and I do use them every single day, some of them in some form. Now, how I decided on what goes in here is this is what I reach for, not just to fill a category. So if I don't have, say, a concealer or a bronzer that's drugstore, I'm not gonna give you a recommendation that's good for a drugstore. That's not how I roll. If I'm gonna recommend something, it's good, period. It can play with the big boys. If you repackaged it and put it up to a $60 foundation or a $40 bronzer, it's gonna perform just as well. Because whether your budget is up here or it's a lot more restricted, it's your money and I don't wanna recommend something that is a waste of time or a waste of money for you. So that's where I am going with this. Also, if I don't mention a product in, that you know I've talked about before, it's not because it's it's something I don't like, but these are like the top, the, the ones I reach for consistently, the, dare I say, holy grail items. And of course, there's always going to be new ones added to this list because drugstore, like all makeup brands, keep putting out great stuff. So as of February 13th, 2018, these are my current drugstore favorites. Let's start in the order in which I apply them, and if I'm wearing it, I will let you know. So, foundation. This has been an oldie but a goodie. There have been rumors of its demise. People keep thinking it's discontinued. I just checked on the CoverGirl website. It was still there. It's in my grocery store. It's at Ulta. So if you see it, grab it. If it's going away, grab it. It's the CoverGirl Ready, Set, Gorgeous. I have, I. this is my, if I don't know what to wear, I reach for this. And so much so that when I went to New York Fashion Week and I got to go backstage and interview models and all that good stuff, this is what I wore. It's just, it's really good. Another favorite that never gets talked about, and I do wear it consistently and always forget to mention it, is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It's, um, it's just a beautiful, I don't love the delivery. It has a paddle. You know how I feel about paddles and doe foot applicators. I don't love it, but, um, doesn't matter. It's like $5.99 and the actual foundation is really, really good. I should say that generally I do have dry skin and I don't like matte finish. So everything I'm going to show you is either satin or if it's more than satin, I'll let you know. Another longtime favorite now, well, at least a year or so, are the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundations. I, this is my winter shade 10. This is a more luminous foundation, so if you have oily skin, you might not love this. And um, a secret to the longevity of this, if you think you've used it all up, you see this little pad, it comes out. Just flip it over and you, oh, it's like buying a brand new foundation. It, it's like regenerated. And just keep doing that over and over until you are sure there is nothing left. This one is a little, I wouldn't say matte, but it's not, it's definitely on the satin natural skin tone side. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1. This is probably my summer shade, 820. Um, it does everything. It has great coverage, medium to full coverage if you want it. Stays forever. I, there's an illuminating version of this, like with a red cap. I don't like it. This one, I adore. I can't tell, I don't know how many bottles, many, many bottles I have used. Now this one is luminous. Um, it's the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. It's probably the only L'Oreal foundation I really love. Many people say this is a dupe for the Armani Luminous Silk because L'Oreal is the parent company for Armani. I would say it's very similar. I wouldn't say it's a dupe. It's very similar. The only drawback to this one is I don't get a full day's wear. I'd say a good six hours out of this before it starts disappearing on me. And then lastly, what I have on today, I'm very excited about. It's a recent purchase in the shade, but it's a long time love. It's the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Concealer and Foundation, or Foundation and Concealer. The lightest shade up until recently was too dark for me. It was more like a summer shade. They recently released Double Zero Light Natural. Wearing it today, thank you Milani for extending your range into the lighter spectrum. It's great. I love that it has a pump. Um, it's definitely medium and buildable to full coverage. So I really like that. As far as concealers go, 
I do like the Maybelline Fit Me concealers. I've used the ones that I have up and I haven't bought new ones because very honestly, for face blemishes, I'm not gonna go for a drugstore concealer. I really do prefer my higher end ones. Now for under eye, um, the only one I have found that has the brightness and the coverage that's similar, not as good, but similar to the Tarte Shape Tape or the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer, which are my go-tos, um, but I still do like this, is the Rimmel Match Perfection 2-in-1 Concealer. Um, it's a concealer and highlighter, and there's a great shade range. It's a great price point. I've been using, this is a newer one, but I've been using these for years, almost since the beginning of my channel. As far as powder, this one is so old. I've been using this product, it predates my YouTube channel. Uh, this is the original formula, Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. I have it currently in Naturally Neutral. I've used the Translucent. I've used the Translucent Extra Heavy Coverage. It does have a strong odor, um, which I love because it reminds me of my grandma because my grandma used this. But if it bothers you, there is an unscented version. They make an illuminating powder. It's just a, it's so good. I reach for this often over high-end stuff. It's The coverage is fabulous and yet light enough that you can wear it under your eyes and it will not make you look older, any older than you are. Let's put it that way. On to bronzer. Do I even, say it along with me. Ready? Three, two, one. Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. In the original, just normal bronzer. There's no shade to it, it just says bronzer. The light one is orange. They came out with two deeper colored ones. I'm definitely picking up the next darker shade for summer. There's no, I, I love this bronzer. Like I wear this, this is pretty much my default bronzer. Just putting it out there, love it. There are some really good, really good drugstore highlighters. I would say the best one ever, to my knowledge, is this one by Flower Beauty. It's their Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. There was a brush, whoops, sorry, here, which is long gone. These are the softest, creamiest, buttery, most deeply pigmented highlighters you will ever see or feel or look at. And the fact that you get three of these, you know, the champagne, the pink, and the gold, I, these are as good, maybe better than the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors. And I think they're 14, definitely under $15. It's out. Standing. and I'm wearing the champagne shade. I toned it down a little bit for today, but you can really have that cheekbones visible from on the other end of a football field if you want to with this. Another great one, not as good as the um, Flower Beauty, but also not as intense, is the new Milani, um, what are these called? Strobe Lights. This is in the shade Afterglow. It's really pretty and what I, oh, you know what? It's pretty darn soft. What I really like about it, this line, is they are aware that we come in different shades. So there are different toned highlighters for you know more deeper toned complexions. So loving that. Also, another one that I've loved for a while and again comes in a variety of shades and very budget friendly is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. I have my favorite shade is Blossom Glow, which is the lightest shade, I think. And then this is sort of in the no man's land. This was in, I think, my 2017 favorites as well. It's a great drugstore product. It's the NYX Three Steps to Sculpt. And again, it comes in four different shades, fair, light, medium, tan, or deep, so maybe five shades. And it's supposed to be like a powder, highlighter powder, like a matte highlighter powder, the actual highlighter, and then the bronzer. I use the um, matte white shade underneath my eyes to set my concealer, and then I don't really bronze, but contour with this and highlight, whoops, sorry, my monitor's backwards. Um, I highlight with this, but I also use it to do the same contouring highlighting on my eyes. So it's a very useful little palette to have. Drugstore just swept my blush category. I reach for, I think, drugstore blushes more than high-end. So first, the oldest in my collection is the Milani, you know which one I'm gonna say, Luminoso. I used to have Nars Orgasm, bought this, never looked back. I think this is much more flattering on lighter skin tones than the Orgasm, and it, it's as beautiful, and let me look how pretty that is, and obviously far less expensive. Another really, really old one, and what I'm wearing today is the CoverGirl Classic Color Blush in Soft Mink. I did a whole video on dupes, and this one is a great dupe for the Benefit Rocket, is it Rocketeur blush? I'm wearing it today. It's a soft rose gold pink, shimmer but no glitter. Um, obviously the packaging is very basic. I kinda like it like that. It just gets you what you need and nothing more. And then of course the entire butter blush range from 
Physician's Formula, I have three, I think out of the four shades they currently have. Another shout out to NYX. This is, um, I don't even know if this is intended to be a blush. It's their Duo Chromatic Illuminating Powder and I have it in the shade Crushed Bloom. It's just really pretty on the cheeks. Um, I don't know what it's meant to be. It's, it's not the right shade for a highlighter, but I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. I've worn it in many, many videos over the years and it's again that like rosy sheer flush which is really great if you're not great at blush application. That would be me. Two from Flower Beauty, again, you're gonna see these again next month. They're Flower Pot Blushes, Warm Hibiscus, and Sweet Pea. Warm Hibiscus is very similar to Luminoso. It's got a shimmer to it, a glow. Sweet Pea is a matte. I really like them. And then newest to my collection, and I've raved about this a lot recently, is the Milani Color Harmony Blushes. I have the color wheel here in Berry Rays. Um, they have coral, they have pink. I can't remember the other options, but I think there's at least one more option. So I just like the, I like a blush that's not matte with that soft glow. I really like it. All that's left are eyes and lips. So eyes, no surprise, my very filthy, I don't know why it's so dirty. Actually, yes I do. Cause I squeeze it out, I put it on my finger and then I hold it and put the lid back on. So that's why there is primer all over this. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. There is no other, there will be no other. I love it. On to brows, I use this every day. Every day, I've yet, no, yeah. I just ordered one high end that I've, has come very highly recommended, but um, this beats out everything I've used so far, and it's the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara, and I have it in the shade Blonde. I love it. I have not found anything that I love more. That may change, but right now, this is still the top of the pyramid for me, and then I grab my eyebrow pencils sort of interchangeably. Whatever is first, I just grab it. And um, these two I use interchangeably along with my high-end one. The NYX Micro Brow Pencil, also in, it's in taupe, not blonde. And the L'Oreal, is this L'Oreal? Yep, the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Defender in blonde. They're very, you know, very reminiscent of the Anastasia Beverly Hills packaging. One end's a very fine pencil tip, the other end is a spoolie. The difference between these and Anastasia is I've never broken one of these. I don't reach for single eyeshadows. It's not because I don't like them, it's just because I love a palette. It's just easier for me to work with a palette. But there is one single I use pretty much every day and I always take it when I travel. This is the old packaging. Do you see the, de the big dent in it? Because I dropped it. It's the Wet n Wild Single Eyeshadow in the shade Brulee. And this is the new one. I, I picked up a new one. It's better than any cream colored powder shadow anyone's ever made. This is a palette everyone needs to have in their collection. Again, it's from Physicians Formula. It's their classic nudes palette. They have a couple other ones of these matte quads, but this is the one I reach for the most to balance out, you know, if I wanna use shimmer and whatever and I don't have the, the, the standard matte shades that I like to blend into my crease and stuff, this is the one. I forgot to tell you, I'm wearing the NYX brow pencil today. CoverGirl True Naked palettes. These are absolute ripoffs of the Urban Decay palettes, the naked palettes, and I don't care. My favorite one is the Nudes. It's very well worn. There you have it. And, oh, you know what? I forgot to grab the other one I have. They have the Goldens right here, very pretty. The Roses right here. Totally forgot to grab it. It's in the back of my drawer. They have the Jewel Tones, which are really you know, very bright, very pretty colors. And they just came out with the Smoky palette, which I don't own and I honestly do not think I will buy because they are not shades that I personally would ever wear. So I don't see the point in buying them. Creamy, buttery smooth, pigmented, beautiful shades, blend well, can compete with any other eyeshadow on the market. And then what I'm wearing today and I absolutely adore and I just ordered another another uh, palette in a, in a warm natural i want to say it's the flower beauty shimmer and shade eyeshadow palette this is in golden natural i'm wearing it today <sighs> if you buy two things from flower beauty this and the highlighting palette it's all, and it comes with a really great br brush that i have no idea what i did with it the only thing that doesn't that takes away from this palette that makes it like 99 percent out of 100 is there's no cream matte or satin shade for blending that's it that's the only thing they need to add to this there are mattes there are shimmers um, not really glitter, which I appreciate, and I just love, love this palette. Moving on to eyeliner, there's only one, and I actually reach for this over all my other eyeliners. It's the CoverGirl Queen Collection Vivid Impact Eyeliner in the shade Truffle. 
They're very difficult to find in person. CoverGirl only stocks certain stores in certain areas, which I talked about in an Instagram Live. It's, to me, very bothersome that the retailers think that only certain people live in certain places who are going to buy this. This is marketed for the African-American community, and I'll just say it, it pisses me off. Like, it should be everywhere, and why it's only targeted for a certain population, I, I have no words. It's 2018. Like, get it together, cover girl. Anyway, be that as it may, you can definitely order it online. I will link it below. It's creamy, pigmented, doesn't transfer. It's the perfect dark brown shade. They have other shades that I love as much, but I'm a, I'm a dark brown girl. That's my go-to eyeliner shade. Um, it's the kind where you have to stick in a sharpener. It sharpens just fine. Comes to a great point. I'm wearing it today. I recently have not found a mascara from the drugstore that I liked as much as any of my other ones until Maybelline sent me this one, and I really do love it. I mean, I don't... I, I can't speak for anyone else. I don't know why people would say they like something and then and lie. Like, it's just makes no sense to me. But I like this. It's the Maybelline Total Temptation in Black is Black. Um, I've talked about this a lot recently, but I like the packaging. I like the flat side where my finger can rest nicely, my thumb. I like the smell. I like that it's kind of a moussey whipped texture, so it just goes on really beautifully it, on me. It doesn't flake. It doesn't smudge. I've had two drugstore mascaras sent to me, this one and the L'Oreal Infallibles. Infallibles? Whatever they are. The pink tube that everyone is raving about like it's the best thing since sliced bread. I never got the hype with L'Oreal. I mean, it was fine. It's fine. But it's okay. This, to me, I get the same effect as my Lancome Miss Monsieur Big or my Chanel La Volume or um, maybe not quite as voluminous as my It Cosmetics Superhero. But this is great. I love it. It's worked really well for me. I can't speak for how it works for you. It's worked great. I love it. Okay, lippies, and then we are done. I'm almost done with this. It's the Milani Keep It Smooth Luxe Lip Treatment. I keep this where I do my makeup. It's basically done. This will be in an empty soon. You know, I don't love the delivery because it's a pot, so you gotta stick your finger in. I keep a little spatula, like a makeup spatula, and I just slap it on right after I put in my foundation and then just let it sit while I do my makeup and then put on my lipstick, and it's lovely and it smells really good and I'll probably just buy another one. Let's address what I am wearing. It's one of the Flower Beauty Mix and Matte Lip Duos. This is in the shade Violet Vixen. That's what I have on today. Um, love this. I've mentioned it recently in my January favorite, so I don't wanna go on and on too much, but many shades, they're all wonderful. One end is the lipstick, and the other end is the matching lip gloss, which you do not have to layer on. I don't always. Or you could wear the lip gloss by itself, which I've done as well. It's just, it gives you options. I like options. Milani lipsticks, there are many that I love. Um, I really love the smell. To me, they smell like Jolly Ranchers. They're amazing. And they're always coming out with great colors. The ones I reach for the most are Nude Cream, which is pretty self-explanatory. Matte Darling, these are matte lipsticks that will not dry you out. That's kind of nice. And Matte Blissful. It's a lot pinker. Love those. And then the last thing is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Shine. Um, this is in Pink Sorbet. Radiant Rose is a little bit deeper. These are so moisturizing, so beautiful on the lips. There's a red one that I actually wanna try too. They have a lot of color options. I would say because of the delivery and the pigmentation and opacity, these are dupes for Sarah Hap lip glosses. So if the 20 something dollar price tag is a little off-putting, give these a go. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear from you. If you have some other favorites from the drugstore that you feel I'm missing out on that you want me to add, give it a try or whatever, put that in the comments below. I love hearing from you. Happy Valentine's Day, whether you're celebrating it with a romantic partner, um, a friend that you adore, your family that you love, or hey, the person you should love the most, yourself. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day doing whatever it is that you do. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.